Okay, so if you're looking uh, for the best way to do your uh, titles and credits or even an animated insert for one of your YouTube videos, uh, this is the easy way that uh, you can do it using the Aurora 3D Text and Logo Maker. Now when you first uh, open the program, this is the screen that you're welcomed with and you can choose from any of these templates in front of you and you can modify them to suit your own application uh, you've got other logos, these logos are animated if I click on one like this and then press the play button you can see this is all stuff that you're able to do using this software, the Aurora 3D Tech software what I'm going to do now though is I'm going to show you how to uh, how to make an easy animated uh, segment for one of your YouTube videos first thing you need to do is choose a back so if you go up here to setup and go to background and image there are loads of different things to choose from but there's animated ones also but we'll start off with eat something easy for you go to choose a background that you want you can get rid of all this we don't need this this is all from the previous one I showed you you can keep them if you want. I mean, it's uh, entirely up to you. But well, I'm just trying to show you from scratch. So that will be your background that you'd start with. And then over this side here, these are the styles of font, if you like, for the text you're going to insert. And it's it's literally as simple as picking a text that you like. Okay, we'll have something like we'll have something like reflection click on reflection and then the easy thing to do then is double tap and you can go in there and just delete the text and type in your own like that click on it again and you can resize the T with the arrow the yellow arrow that allows you to resize the text if it had a border around it, like if you go up here and put a border around it, just the yellow arrow would size would allow you to size the border like this. Yeah, you can make it whatever size you want. Or I'll just get rid of it. So we'll go with the text again. Double click, delete the text that's in there, and write what you want to write. So that's the text in, and um, we'll have that. We'll have it fairly small for the for the, the word rate, and we'll move it up there. Now, for what we're going to do, we're not going to need the reflection. But if you do need the reflection, for re reflection, you go into Design tab on the right hand side here. You click in there, and right at the very top, you've got reflection. You click this, and that'll remove the reflection. If you wanted to keep it, well then what these do, these give you the options to have where you want the reflection to appear and at what strength you want the reflection to be shown but on our occasion we don't need the reflection so we're going to take that out now these green, blue and red nodes these have different functions if you click on the on the red bar of the arrow that will allow you to rotate it in the x-axis the green will do the same in the y-axis and the blue will do the same in the z-axis if you go to the points on the end of each one they just allow you to move it in the direction oops, that those arrows are pointing and then you've got the blocks in the middle when you get them they expand each word in the direction the arrow is pointing. So on this occasion, what we'll do is we'll we'll rotate it. Yes, that looks about right. Let's leave it there. And then what we can do is we can anim animate that. Click on it. Go to the right hand side and animate. And you've got ro rotate, swing, beat. If we press play up there, 
you can see what it's going to do to start with so that's rotating you can make it swing you can make it wave you can pretty much make it do whatever you want so we'll have it rotate and we'll stop it again there and then if you just right click and copy and paste you've got another one that you can work you can use double tap delete what you need that's a nice big one then big word so we'll change the, the angle of this because we want them to be a bit random yeah let's, let's try that let's have it about there okay that can stay big and again we'll amp we'll we're in that, we've, we've highlighted that one so we can have that one rotating now so if we click on play now they're both going to rotate in their own plane, in their own axis which is good, stop it paste again you've got your third one same again, double tap, delete type the word in you're happy with that we can move this round change it up this time I think this occasion we'll, we'll reduce the word of it we'll make it a bit smaller move it over here yeah that looks okay if you play hit the play button they're going to spin like that now that doesn't look very much at the moment but if you wanted to do a few extras you come over to styles again on the right hand side and then you've got these other icons where you can insert all these shapes different paints Yeah. if you go to light though it allows you to insert bolts of lightning or stars or constellations anything you want so we'll click on one of them same principle as before size it to the size you want you can have it however you want it and then move that somewhere in the picture copy and paste again we'll have one over here again you want them a bit random and copy and paste again Let's have a third or a third up here I think And then all it's a case of doing is holding control, highlighting everything that you've done, everything that you know you've added, right click and group, yeah. click on the page to get rid of the, the box and now when you press play you've got a fully animated rate, comment and subscribe. So. If you like that, please rate, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.